Hey, 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 and welcome back to the channel, everybody. This is a very quick overview of how I have my power supplies wired in parallel with a sealed lead acid battery to pick up the slack that uh, the power supplies can't handle sometimes for continuous motion. So what I have, guys, I have two 50 amp rated power supplies, motor one here, motor two, supplying now 100 amp because they're wired in parallel to my two front motors. And they're the motors that have to do the, the most heavy lifting. So when we wire those 250 amp power supplies in parallel, they give us then 100 amp. This is in parallel, not in series, okay? So they're wired together from the neg and pos of one power supply to the other. Then out of one of the power supplies, you run the pos to the pos side of your battery. And then one of the negatives out of the power supply runs to the negative side of your battery. This is a 410 cold crank amp battery. You need that as a minimum, 40 amp hour. You need a minimum of that, guys, to supply the amps that are needed for your motion sim. Then from the battery, you then run a positive wire from the battery to the power input section of the saber tooth. Don't mess this up and wire that into the motor section. It has to go into the power section or you'll burn out your saber tooth. Then a negative from the battery to the saber tooth. Okay. Then I run uh, my wiring out of the motor power supply side of the saber tooth. It's with a fuse on the negative on each side, and that runs to your motors. Don't ever wire your battery in between your motors and the saber tooth, or you'll cook your saber tooth. Only from the battery straight to the saber tooth battery or power supply section. Now I'm just showing a quick look at uh, what my IBT2s that control my traction loss and surge motor are powered by. They have their own 30 amp power supplies. That's for the surge. That's for the traction loss. And they just go to the surge and traction loss motors. Presently they're not wired in parallel with the battery, the IBT2s, but I plan on changing that and getting them in parallel with the battery to offer them a bit of a power soak from regenerative current as well. Anyway, that's a quick look, guys. Stay safe, stay healthy, and take it easy out there.